My name is Patricia Riley. We're at Pandanus Park Aboriginal Community, 56 kilometres away from Derby, along the Fitzroy River. Diabetes, cancers, and all these illness that we've been um, that's been recognised today wasn't wasn't an issue back then, and knowing for a fact that um, there were a lot of spraying with Nugaroberg, um in the areas, along the, especially along the Fitzroy River. And um, yeah, it's just little issues that started to raise today, during those years that started to raise today, like we've got now um, contamination of our underground water, bore water. We don't know if it's been occurring from the, all those years of P APB um, of the um, spraying around the areas, killing Nugrobergs and spraying on um, trees that um, during the wet that would um, absorb through the ground, that would be going through our underground water table. And um, yeah, it just, we do have a lot of health issues, especially with um, visions, um, dental, uh, skins, irritation. There's health issues that's raising that we didn't have before and when we were growing up before all these um, departments started doing surveying and spurring on our land, especially near the river. And well, my, my uncle, Greg Raleigh, he was around at the time, helping and um, I don't know if he was employed, but he was part of the helping with um, monitoring, oh, looking into a Nugroberg um, sighting, and they were doing a lot of spraying around the area. He actually passed away with cancer as well. Um, there are a few, few people that were, were part of the APP spraying um, employ, employees of the APP at the time. And some were volunteers, just voluntary helping because of being in the areas. And we have lost a couple of people that due to cancer, we, we're not very sure if it's related to that because we haven't got any um, a proper formal doctor's report to say what type of cancer, what would cause the cancer, and what type of effect that the, these families of ours had suffered through. I haven't actually seen the drums, but I only heard that they were around and we weren't allowed to go around there because they were spraying. And, but because some of the elders back, in, back then didn't even rely, um, understand what, what the spraying were, but we still continued going down the river fishing. And we don't know what part of the river they were spraying, but we, we, they were sighting of a lot of Nugroberg in the areas. But um, yeah, that never stopped our elders Going, going back to country or going back to fishing, hunting and all that, because they didn't know how to read and write or didn't understand what, what was happening and how, how contaminated this um, spraying was. But now we, we have lost a lot of family due to cancer and we're not sure what really caused it. So it, it could be part of the spraying because Recently, it was just like one after another just passing away. And it wasn't a few years apart, it was just like a year apart that losing one family member to another. My opinion is that government should start recognizing the problem and addressing to it, not turning blind eyes and ignoring what's, what's happening to us, to our people.
Yeah, and recognizing it, you know, to to address to the issue.